Okay, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Hope I am available to everyone. In today's current affairs session, uh, we will cover important news between 4th March to 9th March. This current affairs sessions will have two parts. In first part, I am going to cover important, important current affair of this week. And in next part, I am going to cover some MCQ part. Just like last week we have covered, in that MCQ, I'll cover August important news. That is August 2022 important news so that it can be beneficial for both, aspiring for 2024 or 2023. So this way, this current affairs session will have two parts. So let's start with the first part. In, the, in this session, what are the topic we are going to cover? Let's have a look on that topic and let's first have some summary and then I'll start each, each by one by one. So the first topic I have here is scrub typhus. It's a disease. I'll tell you the detail about this, uh, caused by which virus and all, what are the symptoms and everything will be covered under this. Second topic is related to Quad. You know that Quad comprised of four country, USA, India, Japan, and Australia. These are the four countries. That's why it is called Quad. Initially, when it was established, it was established as a security purpose. Now, it is trade, security, political, all. Everything under this. We will discuss in detail. Next is about Sathi. It is a test portal. You know that uh, various students who cannot offer guidance regarding various coaching programs and all. So, government has lost this portal for them so that they can uh, uh, affordable coaching and guidance regarding the exam. Next is PM Kushum. We will read in detail. It is regarding the non-conventional source of energy that is solar power plant and schemes about this. We will read in this. Okay. Next we have Hindu growth rate. Okay. Can uh, all the students who are listening to me uh, can you confirm what is Hindu great rate? Anyone know about it? Is it related to growth of Hinduism? Is it related to growth of Hinduism? Anyone? Okay, we will discuss whether it is related to religion or it is not at all related with the religion. So we will discuss that. You will see that. Next is salt flat. It is a, uh, you can say, a type of एक तरह का ground है जो कि salt के evaporations के बाद form होता है that is called salt flat and it has a geographical importance spy balloon you know that many enemy countries send this type of balloon pigeons and they have some spy camera radar or something like that so what are the strategy to counter that we will read in this next is charai dehi maidam it is in the news because of archaeological and it is in the UNESCO site. It is in Assam and it is related to Ahom Dynasty. We will read in details when we go to the topic. Next topic is about migration. The absence of data and coordination between state. It is related to migrations. How migration is impacting, you know that. And it is important for men's also. In men's, they are going to ask about what is the cause of migration? What is the solution of the migrations? And how urban city is going to like you know that the density of delhi is very high why because due to migration and which are the state responsible for this migration or we can directly say why it is responsible for the migration uh, entirely we cannot hold the state now for the region of migration even historical causes during british era or the earlier stage of development that is first five year plan and all we do not pay any special focus on those states like Bihar, Odisha, Jharkhand. So these are the states which are mainly responsible for migrations. And that's why the urban cities like Delhi, Chennai, Kolkata suffered. So what is the solution or what is the way forward? So that is according to men's point of view, but it is also according to prelims point of view. And so we are going to cover all these topics in coming 40 minutes or one hour. So be with me and then we will move to the MCQ part. Okay. Every topic will be covered in detail. Coming to our first topic, you know that it is related to a disease. So 
whenever you read a topic which is related to the disease, what are the things you need to read in that? First, you have to study that disease is caused by which virus. The first point you need to discuss or you need to read. When you do UPSC ka preparation, karte ho, to jab kisi bhi topic ko, when you pick any topic, always try to read it in coordination with UPSC. You are not reading, you are not going to be the biologist or you are not going to be the uh, going to enter in medical science. So you are going to uh, appear for UPSC. So for UPSC, a research is not required for a scrub papers. In for UPSC, what you have to study, which virus cause it, if there are any vaccine available for it or not. So first is disease. Second part you have to cover, vaccine is available or not. Third part you have to cover symptom. Because in UPSC, they can ask that these are the symptoms of disease. So which type of disease it is. So they can ask that. And rest you can ask about if any uh, outbreak or something like that, that you can read. So in this also, we will going to read these four important factors, three, four important factors. And for every digit, you need to cover this. So coming back to scrub typhus, uh, as name suggests typhus, you know that there is a disease called typhoid, which is related to fever. So in typhus also, symptom is related to that also. That, but it is called by larval mites. I'll show you in the next slide what larval means, what, what larva means and how it is causing this disease. I'll show you that in the next slide. But the most important thing, it is caused by Orientia Sutsug Musi. This is the name of bacteria. So again, the important point, whether it is a virus bond disease or bacteria, it is a bacteria bond disease. This you need to understand because sometimes this question is also asked. It is a virus bond disease or bacteria bond disease. So it is a bacteria bond disease and then the name of the bacteria is written here. Next, it is spread through bites of larval mites. What is larval mite? I'll show you then the, that is like a makhi ka type ka hota hai. And family of trombicolid, also called chiggers. So what is chiggers? That also I'll show. What are the symptoms? Fever, same like typhoid, headache, body ache, and sometimes rashes. These are the symptoms of that disease. So you have to note down the symptom. You have to note down the virus or bacteria that is causing the disease or vaccine. Unfortunately, no vaccine is available. We have to take several combination of medicines and through which this disease is cured, like azithromycin, doxycycline, etc. So these are the antibiotic. So point is scrub typhus do not still do not have any vaccine. It is caused by the bacteria. Name of the bacteria is already highlighted. Third point is uh, it the, the, the symptom of this is uh, fever, headache, body ache, etc. Okay. Now coming to its, uh, I'll show you the disease, how it is called. As in this diagram, you can see that this is a rat. So on this rat, a small larva, this on this feed on this rat. And if human eat this rat or something, then human is bound to suffer from that disease. So that diagram is descriptive. That larva feed on this mouth, then it grow. And then after that, it uh, population increases. Then again, this form egg and then larva. And this larva is impacting the human being. So this cycle explaining everything about the disease. So either human being can directly eat this rice, mouse, rabbit or something, uh, mouse, rabbit or something. And if that uh, uh, mouse or rabbit have uh, that uh, bacteria or larva in that, Just a second. Okay, so as I was saying that, uh, there are two ways to impact uh, this disease uh, impact. First, either human being eat this type of rabbit or something or directly through this larva. So this was the disease scrub typhus. Okay. Next symptom you can, uh, symptom you have already discussed and what are the solutions I will uh, discuss in the deck. So treatment guideline, uh, there is still did monotherapy that is a combination of various medicine, antibiotic, and you know that in our uh, biology system, there are a lot of diseases that can be cured through antibiotics like citrigine, doxycycline, azithromycin. Even during COVID also, 
earlier we tried these medicine also so this is the treatment guideline this you can go through and read okay now coming to the our next topic that is quad so what is this okay before understanding the quad you have to understand four five term what are those term first of all Okay. Already I have mentioned four country part of quad that is Australia, USA, India, and Japan. These are the four country who were who are uh, who is still the part of quad. How quad is formed? Let me explain you the history of this. Actually, what has happened when tsunami occurred during 2004, so these four countries voluntarily came together to help the nation that is around South China Sea or Indo-Pacific. The nation which is around Indo-Pacific, what are the nation that I'll show you in the next slide, but the nation which are around Indo-Pacific or South China Sea, so these, these were the nation which I have been impacted by tsunami. So these four nations voluntarily come and help to those uh, nations which are around South China Sea that have been impacted due to tsunami. So the first case is very simple. That the tsunami came in 2004 and for those nations to help them, this was formed. Now the story comes here. That when it started, after the tsunami, when it started, after the tsunami volunteer is over, this nation, uh, this quad has no importance. So it was, uh, you can say that a dormant or again in 2007, Prime Minister of Japan, that is Shinjo Abe, then, then Prime Minister, right now he is not the Prime Minister, then Prime Minister Shinjo Abe a, called for quad again. Why he again called for quad? Because this China, you know that we also call China as a dragon. So dragon is expanding its base. Its base, जो China था, ये अपना base जो है, वो South China Sea में और Indo Pacific Asian के Ocean के around जो है, ये अपना base को expand कर रहा था. China refused to follow maritime law. Again, the term you ha you have to understand. China refused to follow maritime law. Which govern this Indo Pacific Ocean or South China Sea. So you can say that the tie which China has between Indo Pacific nation countries and South China Sea uh, around countries, China refused to follow that maritime law and China completely tries to dominate on those countries. So to challenge China, Japan has tried to include these three nations, Australia, USA, and India, so that in uh, together we can challenge the China. Because you know that China is a superpower, and uh, alone Japan cannot control China. So these three, again, a quad is formed. That is in 2007. That is first 2004. Then in 2007. But when this group was formed in 2007, again, China became active. China started giving a statement and uh, threatening India and other countries that we will break economic ties and all. So at that time, these countries, at that time, the Prime Minister of India was Manmohan Singh and the Shinjo Abe. So they did not do much. They again became dormant. Then they were quiet. Then in 2017, after 10 years, again, they again become active. And this time they are directly challenging to China. You know that India has banned so many apps of China, around 200 apps. I know some of you may be TikTok follower or have some thousand, hundreds of TikTok follower, and you might be sad about that. But it was under that influence only this 200 apps, 200 apps have been banned, and various economic steps have been taken to, uh, you can say, warn China that. We are no more threatened from you. And then China was a So the dragon was showing the eyes of the dragon. 
ये क्वाड ने मिलकर उसको फिर से लाल आंखे दिखाया कब दिखाया 2017 में तो जो 2004 से बनना शुरू हुआ था बट मीन विच है फाइनली फुल्ली स्टेब्लिश इन टू थाउजेंड सेवनटीन ऑल दो इफ इट इज आस्ट अबाउट स्टेब्लिशमेंट इन टू थाउजेंड सेवन बिकॉज इन टू थाउजेंड फोर इट वॉज जस्ट फॉर्म फॉर अ वॉलेंट्रीली एक्टिविटी दैट इज फॉर सुनामी सो दैट इज नॉट काउंटेड टू थाउजेंड सेवन यू कैन से बट बिटवीन दिस टीन टेन ईयर्स नो मच एक्टिविटी वॉज देयर नाउ वेरियस एक्टिविटी इज टेकिंग प्लेस लाइक मालावार एक्सरसाइज दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्लीज ऑल दो आर एपियरिंग फॉर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री मस्ट read all military exercise which is going on between any uh, between two countries that is bilateral military exercise or between two, uh, uh, different countries like, like multilateral so all you have to read so this malabar abhyas we call it or malabar exercise between these four countries and it is very beneficial both for both the point of view military also and bit, uh, for the trade and tie also so these is the uh, history of quad which i was trying to explain and now what they are doing that they are strengthening their tie even they have formed quad plus in which new zealand vietnam and one more country is entering and they are south korea so these are the three more country which will be the member of this and that will be called as quad plus so what they are basically trying to do is trying to encircle china or trying to challenge china uh, in uh, because china is not ready to मीन्स यू कैन से दैट चाइना मान नहीं रहा है और मेरी टाइम लॉ को सो दीज आर दोर पॉइंट यू हैव टू स्टेंड क्वाड क्वाड प्लस द करेंट न्यूज इज क्वाड प्लस न्यूजीलैंड वियतनाम एंड साउथ कोरिया मे बी सम मोर एंट्री यू कैन सी इन कमिंग इयर सो दीज आर क्वाड प्लस वाई दिस क्वाड बिकॉज ऑफ indo pacific tension just i am summarizing what i have explained indo pacific tension this quad is indo pacific tension or you can say specifically south china sea dominant south china uh, south sea dominant of china theek hai and the third point is china is not obeying maritime law with this country and fourth is quad is no more a security jab isko pehli bar form kiya gaya tha to security purpose se kiya gaya tha but right now it is no more not more for a security only it is for trade political security okay so everything now they are everything but the point when you are writing answers for mains when you are explaining the quad do not write that it is formed to threaten china you have to write that it is just to neutralize the effect of china or dominance of china in indo pacific region so it is a just a neutralization we are not trying to threaten any country and that is not even in our foreign policy also hope you have already read about foreign policy international relations so we are not trying to threaten anyone it just to neutralize effect or who is trying to dominate just to save those country we are doing all this point 1 point 2 you have to write that this quad plus in coming year is going to have a great impact of economical values also because they will give us uh, some weapons and everything so trade and economics this both these two things will flourish for india so these are the main important aspect of quad okay okay coming back to topic you can see what i have explained the country name of indo pacific you can see through the uh, i'll zoom it out you can see the name of that this japan south korea myanmar new zealand australia indonesia and everything that you can see okay now the india and australia is having a diplomatic relations independence period when consulate general india was first opened trade office in sydney in 1941 since this news uh, recently in news because you know that uh, this prime minister uh, this anthony albanese the australian prime minister is in india uh, some of you who are the cricket lover jo cricket ko dekhte hain unko pata hoga ki abhi ahmedabad mein inko swagat kiya gaya tha 
and they, if they both even watch India and Australia Test series, that is Border Gavaskar Trophy, which is going on. So both the prime minister together watch that. So that's why it is in context or it is in the news. You can read the detail. I'll share complete details after the sessions with you. These are the bilateral trade details between India and Australia. There's a figure written here. What are the trade and all? So that is how these both are boosting their ties. Everything is explained in this current slide that you can uh, check. Okay. Even in science and technology, both are having a great tie and everything. India Ministerial, uh, yes. Uh, one I am talking about Malabar. That is a Malabar exercise is a multilateral. That is between different countries. But this between India and Australia, this exercise is known as us induct. But Australia ka us hai, India ka IND hai, or EX matlab exercise. So this us in exercise is related to India Australia military relations. So this is uh, entirely a uh, new exercise between India and Australia every year. So this is also you can say the benefits of Quad. In men's, they can ask what are the ben I means how Quad is beneficial for India. Because in UPC, you are uh, mainly you have to read in perspective of India. So, okay, story is thick, hai, ki sare country aaye, sab kuch. but if you're asking how it is beneficial for India, so you have to show all this that how military tie is improving, how trade is improving, how economic facilities between India and Australia is improving. So that has been covered in this complete slide. Okay. What are the challenges between two? Okay. You know that if everything is good, that never sound good. Sab kuch achha ho hai, matlab kuch toh ho hai. So that, that is explained here. So India trade deficit with Australia, it has been increasing since due to India Australia free trade agreement. Free trade agreement se jo hai, trade deficit increase hua hai. Again, uh, Japan America ka jo ek partnership hua hai, usse bhi Australia thora naraj hai. And even some of the racist attack which is taking place in Australia. Some of the Indian has been attacked and there have been some racist slug have been passed against them. So that is coming to the next topic that is Sathi. S A T H W. -E. What does it expect? Self assessment test and helpful entrance exam. I've already explained this. That it is uh, this platform is formed by the government to help all those who are poor, deprived, and could not offer coaching guidance. So uh, government is helping them by this app. The platform self assessment test help for entrance exam has been prepared by association with Indian Institute of Technology, Kanpur. So IIT Kanpur has prepared this, aims to bridge the gap between students and society who can't offer costly entrance exam guidance and coaching. So these are for them. So Sati aims to make a student learn concept, focus on their weak topic. They feel confident, give any exam, watching video prepared by IIT and ISC. So the video will also be prepared by IIT and some of the renowned uh, professor of IIT. And this will help them to read. Uh, a data is given. It provides free learning resources, including 800 videos and 12 regional languages. You know that Prime Minister is very concerned about uh, new economic policy, which have been browsed, uh, sorry, new education policy, which have been brought in the field of uh, education. So to implement the, uh, that, also this activity need to be done. For IIT, AMS, and various other examinations, you know, the fee is very high. Lakhs of rupees are charged. So if this type of schemes is uh, successful, then it will surely help many students uh, in coming years or in future to come, okay? Because human resource is the best resource. India have human, but whether they are resource or not, it depends on government or it depends on whether they have been in, uh, invested in health education or not. Only human is not sufficient. There is a very famous slogan, uh, which is said regarding Japan. You know that Japan people are very punctual. And uh, uh, when they are very developed, even they face tsunami. Tsunami, you know, face kia or everything. Still, they are one of the developed, developed nations. Why? Because their people say that other country have people, we have citizen. So try to be the citizen. Do not want only be a people of country. Okay. So coming to the next topic, it is about PM Kushum. Again, I have already explained that it is related to solar plant where government is giving subsidy to install solar plant. The government of India extend deadline of the PM Kusum scheme by the Ministry of New Renewable Energy to install 30,000 megawatt solar power capacity. Okay, one more thing I want to mention here. 
any scheme related to government when you, you read always try to focus on the department who launched that scheme matlab kaun se department ka wo scheme hai ministry of health ka hai rural department ka hai housing ka hai kiska hai kyunki upsc kai baar is tarah ke sawal puchta hai ki under which department this scheme have been launched so that why i have already highlighted it is under ministry of new renewable energy to install solar power capacity in india by 2022 what are the features you can read here uh, that is data is given you can cover it by yourself it is a scheme by ministry of new renewable energy launched in 2019 uh, why it is in news now because the deadline have been increased uh, earlier deadline so like this also it is delayed okay along with india's commitment to increase the share of installed capacity of electric power from non fossil fuel that is 40% by 2030 as part of intended nationally determined contribution you know that the conventional source of energy is limited okay so we have to search for alternative non conventional source of energy like solar wind tide etc uh india have enough potentials like gujarat uh, uh, in ahmedabad also that is sun for sun and wind also in hyderabad also but india still is not explore that potential to its fullest so that need to be done so that uh we can uh, uh we can leave something for future generation okay if every uh, all petrol will be used by our generation then the future generation will surely have nothing left so the conventional source of energy is limited so that has to be judiciously utilized what is we call sustainable development we have already read about that what is sustainable development and how it functions coming to the next topic is hindu growth rate when i have started the session i have already asked is it related to growth of hindu still i am repeating the question any online student want to say something is it related to growth of hindu anyone okay chalo mai bata deta i'll explain it first point is that it has nothing to lead with religion hindu growth rate ko religion se kuch bhi lena dena nahi hai it is not related at all otherwise fir pata chalta muslim growth rate christian growth rate something like that but why it is in news first of all again Point is that one of the former RBI governor Raghu Ram Rajan has stated that India is close to Hindu growth rate. What does it mean? Actually, uh, for this we have to uh, go in history somewhat. When India launched its first five-year plan, that is fifty-one to fifty-six, at that time our growth rate was below four percent. Between 1951 to you can say uh, 60s uh, till 60s, it was below 4 percent. So growth rate which is close to 4 percent or below 4 percent is called Hindu growth rate. Now point is why it is called Hindu growth rate? Who coined this term? It is in the news because Raghu Ram Rajan has said that. Simple. But who coined this term and why it is in the news? Because Raghu Ram Rajan has said that. Simple. But who who said that? So the next. Slide cover this. So it was coined by economist Raj Krishna in 1978 to describe slow growth in the country. Okay. Now point is, if it was a slow growth rate, why it is called Hindu growth rate? Why not Christian? Why not some other religion growth rate? Actually, at that time, there are so much. You can uh, read the two word here. It is written contentment. Uh, in indian economy three and the came into the being so india contentment and low growth rate post independent actually kya hota tha usme jo hum kahte na ye bhag kis se ho raha hai to at that time whatever thing was happening uh aisa term kya aata tha ki ye bhag kis se ho raha hai matlab bhag ye bharose ho raha hai and this bhag ye bharose the hindi term was mostly used by hindu that jo kar raha hai bhagwan kar raha hai growth rate hai to bhagwan ke sahare hai to hum lachar the aisa lag raha tha ki hum lachar chal rahe the so that time it was term as hindu growth rate and the word contentment that we were satisfied with that growth rate as if we are saying that theek hai isme ab kuch nahi ho sakta hai jo growth rate hai wo sahi hai yahi hoga so professor raj krishna term it as a hindu growth rate although it was in vivad mein tha ki hindu growth rate hi kyon bola gaya but why it was term hindu growth rate because of the term used by hindu that is ye bhag ke bharose ho raha hai so the growth rate was fatal growth rate was satisfied uh, indian were satisfied with that growth rate at that time 
not doing much for increase that growth rate. So that's why it was termed as Hindu growth rate. So, so point to be noted, Hindu growth rate is a growth close to 4%. Who coined this term? This term was coined by Professor Raj Krishna, second point. Third point, uh, why it is in the news now? Because uh, government of India has predicted that in third quarter of 2023, our growth rate is going to be around 4.4%, which is close to 4%. So that's why Raghuram Raja, I said, no, Raghuram Raja, I said, 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 uh, rejected this connection and instead attributed the low growth rate to the government protections and intervention. When that Professor Raj Krishna terms was questioned by some of the philosophers, but it's okay when he was coined it is in the news. Okay, moving to the next. Uh, yeah, you can uh, read the feature of Hindu growth that is low GDP rate, slow industrialization, stagnant agriculture, inefficient public sector, and lack of foreign investment. If you remember first and second five year plan till green revolution was introduced, isn't it all the features were from them? GDP rate was somewhere around two to three percent, nothing, not much in industrialization. Agriculture was not growing at the pace it should grow. At inefficient public sectors, there is nothing done, uh, all were slipping uh, till globalization is done. Uh, before that, all were sleeping. Unko lagta tha, chalo, theek hai, sab chal raha hai. Ami market mein, ami player hai, ami kar sakte hai. So this was a, you can say, fault of our economy, where we do not introduce any competition. Everything with the government, all will be the public sector enterprises, and government is handling everything, and all were in the losses. Like now, BSNL, MTNL, everything in the losses. Okay. So this was lack of foreign investment. Everything is written in this. So this was the feature of uh, rate of growth or Hindu growth rate. Coming to the next topic, it is related to geography. Uh, simple, what does salt flat means? I'll explain you in the simple terms. Hota kya hai? Suppose uh, this is a, you can say, um, jo salt ka jaha pe ikatha hota hai, maidan hai pe, and evaporation take place. So what happens? Once water is evaporated, the water from oceans reaches here to fill this gap. If the evaporation rate is higher, that is, suppose uh, per day uh, water that is evaporated is not filled by this ocean or not recharged. So that type of uh, surface form is called salt flat. Simple term mein samjha deta hon. Jab evaporation ho raha hai kisi jagah pe, to us jagah ke paani ko jo bharne ke liye baaki ocean se water waha aata hai. Isko hum kate recharging the ground water. अगर जो रिचार्जिंग की जो रेट है वो स्लो है और एवोपरेशन की रेट हाई है तो सॉल्ट फ्लैट फॉर्म होता है सॉल्ट फ्लैट मतलब कि एवोपरेशन रेट हाई होगा कैसा दिखता है दिस हैज बीन शोन इन द इमेज यू कैन सी इट इज कॉल्ड सॉल्ट फ्लैट इस तरह का दिखता है क्योंकि एवोपरेशन हो गया है सॉल्ट का सो इट वाज इन द न्यूज एंड एज अ वाज सॉल्ट फ्लैट अराउंड द वर्ल्ड कई सारे सॉल्ट फ्लैट होते हैं अराउंड द वर्ल्ड सो दिस इन द लिटर रेफर्स टू दोज नेचुरल लैंडस्केप व्हिच इंक्लूड लार्ज एरिया ऑफ फ्लैट Salt flats are formed from natural water bodies whose recharge rate is, which I have already told you, you can uh, read, read it here. Recharge rate is lower than the evaporation rate. That means evaporation is, rate is higher than the recharge rate. That's what I have stated. Due to lower recharge rate, the water evaporates, leaving behind dissolved minerals such as salt. Salt flat reflects sunlight strongly, hence appears bright. Okay, so this was in the news. Okay, so here the list of the sum of the most well-known salt flat is given. Uh, you can read run of Kutch, salt desert of Sirjan in Iran, and etc. It will give, share you the PPT, you can read or note it down. Impact of salt flat on human and climate. Wind that blowed over such salt flat can carry the salt with the as particulate matter. You know what is particulate matter? In the science class 10th, you have already experiment, experimented that is Tyndall effect. When you open the 
तो जो झारोखों से एक रोशनी आती थी उसमें कई सारे डस्ट पार्टिकल्स आपको दिखते थे टेन ट्वेल्थ में टीचर्स ने आपको एक्सपेरिमेंट के लिए कहा होगा इसको टिंडल इफेक्ट कहते हैं दैट डस्ट पार्टिकल इज कॉल्ड पार्टिकुलेट मैटर सो इफ वाटर मीन्स इज द एयर टेक्स सॉल्ट अराउंड इट सो दैट विल बी ऑल्सो विल बी वन ऑफ द पार्टिकुलेट मैटर सच सी सॉल्ट कैन इंटर एटमोस्फेयर एंड गो ऑन to the center of cyclone salt plate are large source of particulate matter and salt suspensions are also an important group of aerosol so in uh, indirectly these are harming environment we can say that okay so this was in the news coming to the next topic spy balloon most of you have uh, read in various newses like spy balloon pigeons pakistan news karta hai hamare khilaf jahan pe ki कबूतर भेजता है पहले जमाने में कबूतर आई है चिट्ठी लाई है मतलब अभी वो चिट्ठी नहीं आती है वो एक स्पाई होता है जो कि हमारे बॉर्डर एरियाज एंड इन एंड अराउंड दे स्पाई ऑन दैट एंड दैट इंफॉर्मेशन इज रिस्ट टू दी एनिमी कंट्री इवन दिस वॉज यूज बाई यू एस ए चाइना एंड एवरी इवन वर्ल्ड वॉर ऑल्सो दिस स्पाई बैलून वॉज यूज नाउ द पॉइंट इज वाई इट इज इन द न्यूज बिकॉज गवर्नमेंट इज प्लानिंग टू टैकल दिस एंड सम ऑफ द New protocols have been made to tackle this. That's why it in the news. I'll read you that protocol. What is this? This picture is all about what is spy balloon is all, how much height it, uh, estimated trajectory and all. This you can note it down. What are spy balloon? A contemporary spy balloon is a piece of spy equipment. For example, camera suspended beneath a balloon that floats above a given area carried by wind current. The equipment attached to the balloons may include radar and solar powered. The balloons are one of the oldest form of surveillance technology. ये जापानी military के साथ use किया गया था world war में, but that have been already said. Now, what are the need for formulating protocol? Increasing case of spy balloon. Nowadays, uh, this case is increasing slowly. So uh, we need to formulate law against this. Aerial object was spotted over the Andaman. A similar entry was spotted a year ago over the strategic Andaman and Nicobar Island. Key highlight of the draft protocol: the protocol includes military plans and actions when similar slow-moving aerial object may be detected for positive identification. So this was in the news. Next topic is Charai Dei Maidan. What is this? Actually, why it is in the news? Actually, uh, there was a Ahom kingdom, and it has a specific shape of ground uh, structure, which is in the news as. uh it was included or ready to be included in unesco world heritage center so that's why it is in the news it is in assam has more than 90 i uh, mean assam this uh, this type of structure 90 more than 19 structure uh, how is the structure look like i'll explain you here it is the shape of the structure you can see it is the shape of the structure so this look like that and uh, underground vault one or more chambers having domical superstructure it is covered by heap of Arthan Mound and extremely appears a hemisphere mound. At the top of the mound, a small open and provided. So this was the shape you can read. Simply, why it is in the news? Because it is included or going to be included in UNESCO World Heritage Site. So that you have to read that much only. Explanation no need to read in this, as it is not required for UPSC purpose. Okay. Now coming to the our last topic for today about a migration data. What is migration data? Uh, it is the data where how much people have been migrated from one state to other. So that why migrant worker being assaulted in Tamil Nadu and have triggered a concern about uh, manufacturing in the state. Uh, you have already uh, read, uh, might have read that this was a rumor. There was no such incident. Ah, uh, but yes, it happened sometime uh, long back. If we uh, remember, some ten to fifteen year back in Mumbai, some. Bihar state people have been beaten by uh, Raj Thakre and all, and even in Bihar also some incident have taken place where people uh, train going from Assam to Bihar. Some of the uh, people of that have been beaten. So this is the news that this happened uh, recently. Why it is in the news? Because some channel have shared uh, a news that a Bihar migrant have been killed by Tamil Nadu people, and there is a tense environment in Tamil Nadu. So many video have been circulated. Where people requested to rescue them from Tamil Nadu from the government. Even some of the videos have been, if uh, truth have been that he was me, कोई सच्चाई थी ही नहीं and वो लोग झूठ मूड का अपने आप को popular बनाने के लिए वो video shoot कर रहे थे. So that was in the news. Now the point is why a migration a concern for India. 
still a lot of people migrate you can say the village to city for the work 49.7 for study 4.1 family and all the data in the given how many uh, people migrate this you can read and can formulate your answers for migration now about constitutional provision what constitution say in this according to article 19.1 if uh, it is the uh, you can say that anyone can reside any places in india it is nothing no bar from constitution side so that is written settle in any part of the territory reasonable restrictions in the interest of the general public or any scheduled tribe. So this was in uh, tribal area, some restriction is there. Otherwise, you can settle in any part of India. So constitution do not divide anyone for this, but still uh, every state want that uh, all the rights should be given to its citizen. Why migra migrants is taking all the right? So in this case, uh, you can say that uh, cities from where migration is taking place need to be held responsible government or you can say central government must support those cities to develop such as bihar jharkhand odisha so that if they, those city will be uh, if uh, coming year if those cities can be developed so this migration program can be solved so uh, instead of uh, solving problem for a certain period of time like jab ye halla hota hai usme hum kuch uh, uh, forces wage karke hum isko shanti kar dete hain we have to think of long term solution where uh, equal development of the state some state have been highly developed they have been focused extra by government scheme but some of the state are still lagging behind so those states which are lagging behind in uh, education health job etc that state need to be focused that state need to be uh, corrected and so that even niti ayog is doing all this thing they are uh, means targeting those state and giving reviews how that can be corrected and all but still lot to be done and a special package need to be given to those states. Okay. So that is the issue of timely and fair payment of wages and all. What are the problem of related to migrant? Okay. So these need to be covered. Uh, Odisha and Andhra Pradesh uh, I signed to monitor laborer moving from Odisha to BRICS, uh, the newly formed Andhra Pradesh. Okay. So even if some state are not developed, they are signing MOU so that their workers can be secured or their worker can be protected. Okay. In 2021, Jharkhand launched the safe and responsible uh, migration initiative to collect data and map the laborer who migrate other states. So uh, even if that state is not developed, that state can initiate some initiative and can tie up with the developed state and so that their worker can be safe and secure. So this is going on. Okay. So the central and state government must work together to implement the four labor codes soon possible feasible. The provision of legumes and edibles oils reduce prices through the periods in addition what is provided through one nation one card. This also need to be done. Uh, one nation one card. Although government is uh, experimenting this so that uh, if labor is living in any places they can get ration and everything. So this was important news of previous week that is from uh, first March to seventh March.